Afternoon, guys. Saturday the 12th of March, 2022. Back up in the allotment again. Been here since 8 o'clock this morning. And um, it's now about 5 p.m. So I had a really good, productive day again. Uh, Tony came up, my son, and he gave me a hand. I'd done about four hours on my own, then Tony came up and gave me four hours of his time. So I managed to get the rest of the framing up, um, or most of the framing up, before Tony arrived. But then we got the roof on, all of, uh, all the uh, wire netting, the plastic sheet. Anyway, I'll spin you around and we'll give you a look, guys. Right, guys, so here we go. We've now got it finished. Got a door on this end as well now, and padlocked, or oh, got a proper proper key, a lock. We still need to uh, either plastic coat, this is actually painted with gloss, so it should be fine. We probably need to still plastic coat the door and all this. We might plastic coat all of this just to make it match, so it's all black. And the little bit at the top there as well. And I've made that so we've got so that it protrudes and sticks out from the door so the water can run off past the door. Now I do still have some finishing touches to do obviously guys but I don't know if you can actually even see from here but it's uh, starting to run out of daylight already. But this is what we have now. As you can see all completed as well here. Got the new pallet wall in here. Now this was a challenge because but look at it, I mean, look at this area I've got now, guys. Fantastic, lovely and light. Light, bright, dry. Out of the wind. And I think some of the uh, citrus plants will like it in here. So this, this was the biggest challenge. As you can see, we've had to cut a pallet down to that size. Because I wanted the full pallet that size to give me my runner up for my strength on the door jams with these. Now you can see I've started to trim the back of the, the door so there's no gap. I still need to go across the top here and I still need to go across the bottom as well and then likewise we've still got this door to finish as well. I've now got the bars on the back. I decided I was going to put two locks on. I'm going to put a lock on this door as well but I've decided what I'll do is lock this one from the inside. So I've just simply put two bars on and I can open that up no problem. But I need to put my trimming around the door where we have gaps, as you can see. A little bit of a gap here where it runs out slightly. We'll never get it perfectly, guys, but I need to shed at the end of the day. And uh, yeah, we've still got plenty of surplus sheets. I thought we were going to run out of sheets. We've got plenty there, and there's still some more in, in this shed here as well, I think. We put an extra strengthener in this end. And then we've latted it on the outside as well to stop this blown about like it was. And then we took another piece of this decking board on the outside. And you can probably just see this. I'm not sure whether you can or not. Yeah. And we screwed it to this one, double thickness. And then we took it down here onto the shed and screwed it into the shed as well, guys, for even more strength and make this even more rugged. Now I may even still go over this with a piece of mesh as well on the outside, just as an extra precaution. Now I'll put this runner in here, and by accident, it just happened to be the right height for this uh, solar panel. So I'm now starting to think about mounting the solar panels in here, now which is going to block a bit of light, but I'm not sure. Or, up on this roof here, internally. But as you can see, the, the roof's a bit grubby, so that might not be such a good idea. The other one, the other idea, is to put myself a, a fixed board sticking out from it, the front of here. And mounting solar panels on there, which will catch the sun from here. So you can imagine, if they were sticking out, solar panels mounted in that thing, they're going to get the sun all the way around and they're even going to catch it coming through here as well um, I've still got to think about where I'm actually going to mount them 
for the time being, they're doing a job. Even this little thing is still charging me batteries and it's doing the job. They're keeping the batteries topped up. Just got these tucked up along here and a screw into there to keep me out of place and they can stay there pretty much until I need them. Um, but yeah, absolutely delighted. Now, all week, the wind has been 50, 60 mile an hour, but coming this way, thankfully. It's been from coming from the south all week, and I was dreading it flipping round and coming back from the north. And thankfully it didn't do that. But I think it's going to change tomorrow, and that's why I needed to get this seal, guys. Now, this is as rugged as anything. I climb up and I climb over this and everything. We've even got the buttons on down here now. I'll just take you outside and show you that. So we've now even got extra laths on here. And we've got the window ones. Now I've purposely left these short because of the way we had to put these runners in behind the pallet to fix to them. The top is flush and these actually run on a slight angle like that. So if we were to try and put the lat all the way down we would piece the plastic. This way we don't do that. And to be honest it doesn't look too bad guys. That's one heck of a good dry area, bright dry area to work in. Right guys, uh, it's a very, very, very short video of this one. I've literally just came up here and got cracking because I knew I had to get that seal before the winds changed directions. So it's just to show you the finished product basically. Um, there's all sorts of more little things that will crop up and imagination that I can use to do different things and you'll see when it's completely finalized but it, from a building perspective it's done it's sealed it's dry now and it's a usable space um, it is now about quarter past five and as you can see with the lights on it's pretty dark in here now um, and it's been pretty drab all day we did need a little bit of sunshine late tea time it's for about an hour and a half or something like that but it's darkened in really quickly and it looks like the weather's going to change and I think I've got this done just in the nick of time guys. I've got the kettle on, I think I've only had two cups of coffee all day. I'm going to have this cup of coffee, in fact I didn't even get the first one. I, I, I took a mouthful out of it and then it went cold on me. <laughs> so I've had one cup of coffee since I came up, this will be my second one. So I'm going to have this and, uh, and I'm going to head home. I've got a video coming up shortly where we'll be uh, fitting a diesel heater um, start to finish out the box to assemble up and running that's something you, you don't want to miss don't forget to hit that subscribe button then the little bell icon select all and that will let you every time I put a new video for now guys thanks for popping along thanks for watching Stay safe, be practical and keep yourselves out of harm's way. I'll see you again in the next video.